summertime is a time to enjoy the outdoors, but as temperatures rise to dangerous levels, so are the risks for heat-related illnesses. Yesterday I had a heat stroke, actually. Really? Yeah, I had to even put ice in my face and everything. I was sweating, about to puke, so now I'm trying to be more careful. I have my umbrella and everything. Your body's in such a stressed out mode that your body starts to prioritize you know, the most important organ. It starts closing off the blood vessels in your fingertips, in your nose. Heat stroke is caused by an increase in the body's temperature to 104 degrees or more, which could have life-threatening consequences. According to the CDC, heat was a contributing factor in 1,577 deaths across the U.S. in 2021. That's a 56 percent jump from 1,012 deaths in 2018. Some of the first early signs are you know, you start having significant sweating. Other symptoms include hot, dry skin, confusion, headache, slurred speech, increased heart rate, and seizures. Doctors say children four and under are at an increased risk because their central nervous system isn't fully developed. Adults over 65 are also vulnerable because their central nervous system deteriorates with age. A much older person, a little bit of a fast heart rate for you and me might be okay, but if you have any kind of heart conditions, a fast heart rate might be too much for your heart. In addition to affecting your physical health, doctors say soaring temperatures can also affect your mental health. Our brain cells are the most sensitive cells in our entire body. They're the only cells that you cannot uh, reproduce. At high temperatures, people think in a slower pace, so their focus is off, their concentration is off, their problem solving is off. Before you become reactive, get proactive. A really important part of hydrating is actually taking in foods that have high electrolytes, so things like uh, mineral waters or bananas or even salty crackers allow your body to hold on to that water. Make sure you're regularly touching base with your therapist, that you're minimizing stressful triggers. The intense heat didn't stop people from getting in a good workout and soaking up the sun here at Central Park. They say it's all about taking the necessary precautions to staying safe. Staying in the shade. Uh, we just have like an ice cold water and we have a fan here and we stayed under the big tree. And as temperatures continue to rise this summer, staying on top of weather forecasts will allow you to forecast your mood and your body too. On the West Side, I'm meteorologist Stacey Ann Gooden, PIX11 News.